Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Kids Court School, I present Adanya Shemilore and Abdul Kabir. Could you give them a round of applause? A round of applause, a bigger one. It's not easy to stand on that stage, I assure you. It's not easy at all. So I'm going to start with Adanya. You have a pretty book in your hand, and it looks a little familiar. Could you tell me, what book is that? It's Matilda by Rodal. Oh, I think I know the Matilda story, the one where she's telepathic and she can move the... Oh my God, I watched that movie as a child. I absolutely loved it, even though I didn't like the, the principal. What's her name again? <coughs> Miss Trunchbull. Oh, Miss Trunchbull. Mm -mm -mm. I hope we never find a Miss Trunchbull in our school. She's very annoying. And she was always pooping on Matilda's party. So could you tell me a little bit about the book, Matilda? The book is a fictional book, and the main character's name is Matilda, and she's very extraordinary. She reads a lot of books, and then she gets a superpower. Meanwhile, her parents discourages her from reading the books. Then she meets a very heartwarming teacher named Miss Honey and the story starts from there. Miss Honey is very kind and believes Matilda can achieve many things in life. In the end of the, in the, end of the book, Miss Honey later adopts Matilda and it's a very happy ending. Yes, it is a very happy ending. And I, if you can get your hands on that book, you should definitely read it. All right, let me move on to Shemi Lurie. How are you? How are you I'm, doing? I'm very well, thank you. Are you nervous? No, I'm not. Oh, look at that confident response. No, I'm not. What is the name of your favorite book? The name of my favorite book is The World of Norm. The World of Norm. Have I read that? I think I have. No. Who wrote it? Jonathan Mears. Hmm. I don't think I've read that book. Could you tell me a bit about it? Norm, Norm is a child who likes to who likes to bike so one day his friend Mikey says that they should go biking but his mom had already planned out a walk with their cousins Ooh, interesting so norm doesn't really like his cousins because they are, because his aunt keeps bragging about them Aww. so Later on, when they were having the walk, Norm met Mikey, and then, and then Mikey was, f and then Mikey forced Norm to let his Norm's eldest cousin join their biking. Well, Norm must have been pretty upset, wasn't he? Yes, I mean, he, was. he doesn't like his cousin, anyways. And he doesn't like his neighbor either. Oh, sorry. Thank you. All right then, that's pretty interesting. I'm sure Norm will have been upset the whole adventure. Imagine having to bike with and someone he, you don't and like. And he even said that he would rather, instead of going on a walk and a visit to his cousins, he would rather do long division in Swedish while crawling over broken glass. Wow, that is very descriptive. I'm guessing Norm doesn't like mathematics. He doesn't, right? since long division is a punishment for him. All right, Abdul, how you doing? Can I call you Abdul? I can? You, okay. You have a very shiny book over there. Can you raise it for everyone to see? It's, it's, it's pretty shiny. I like the design of the cover. What book is that? Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, I think everyone, who knows Harry Potter here? Let me see. I think a lot of people know Harry Potter. All right, could you tell me about your book, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? The Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone is a thrilling story about a boy named Harry Potter. He lived with his uncle and aunt and their son Dudley for 11 years of his life. They mistreated him oh, no. so much that he hated them. Oh, he was traumatized. Awful. 
he they forced him to live in the cupboard below the stairs. What? Sometimes, one day, when it was Dudley's birthday, the woman that usually takes care of Harry while they are away, Mrs. Figs, broke her leg. Oh no! So they had to take Harry along. They went to the zoo where the Dudley and his friend Piers wanted to see the biggest snake in the zoo. The biggest snake? Yes. Who likes snakes here? Let me see your... You like snakes? Oh my God, I don't like snakes. They, they creep me out because they're just long and crawling over the ground and everything. Okay, tell me more, Abdul. Okay, so oh, Dudley noticed that the snake was asleep. So he commanded his dad okay. to wake it up for him. Why would you do that? With no success. No success. But when they stepped away, Harry walked over and immediately the snake's eyes opened. Oh, wow. So like the snake was aware of Harry in the zoo. Okay, it's getting a bit scary. So I'm just going to stop you there because I don't want to get scared. I don't like snakes. Okay. So um, I want to know though, uh, Adiana, why is that your favorite book? Oh, that's helpful. Thank you. Matilda is my favorite book because everything about the book is just amazing and extraordinary. The plot is just overwhelming. And some people really like the book because Matilda is blessed with powers just by reading. It even helps children understand that reading is very important. Mm. Important salient points. Kids, if you could gain a superpower just because you've read books, what kind of power would you want to have? Adriana, let me hear you first. What kind of power would you want to have? I would want to fly. You would... Hello, Supergirl. Come on. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Who else? If you could gain a power by reading book, what kind of power would you... Okay, wait, wait. Let me... Your hand came up first. What kind of superpower would you want to have? I would want to stop time. You would want to stop time? Wow, that's very complex. Wait, if you stop time, what would you do? I'm curious. I would... You know what? Think about it. Let me give you like two or three years to think about it. Maybe then. Okay, who else? If you could gain a superpower by reading a book. Okay, what kind of power would you want? I want to be indestructible. Well... I see the benefits. I mean, if you do like a lot of rough play, if you fall, you won't break your legs. So I see the vision, I see the vision. Who else, what would you, okay, Mr. Face Paint. Your paint is cute, by the way. What would you want? Telekinesis. See, we have like minds, because if I wanted a superpower, I would want telekinesis. Because imagine being able to just sit down here and I can just move anything I want. My bag is over there. I don't have to walk there. I can just float my bag over to me. I'm a pretty lazy person. So yeah, telekinesis would, it would be my superpower. All right, um, Abdul, if you had a superpower from reading, what would you want it to be? No, you can use my mic. Okay. I, I'd basically just want to become Harry. That's all. Uh, are you sure? Because Harry had like a pretty scary villain chasing him all his life. Yes, a, a wizard. Are you sure you'd want to become Harry? Are you sure you want somebody to oh, be? Uh, If you say so, okay. <laughs> if you say so. All right, Shemilore, tell me why The World of Norm is your favorite book. The World of Norm is my favorite book because it helps me, it helps me think about it helps me think about things I may want to change in the world. Hmm, very deep, things you want to change in the world. Like Adania's book, yeah? Imagine if you read The World of Norm and you gained a superpower to change anything in the world. What would you change first? Hatred. Wow, a round of applause for Shemi Lure. Because yes, if we remove hatred from the world and everyone just loved each other genuinely, the world would definitely be a better place. There'll be no selfishness. There'll be no pain because you wouldn't want to call someone. Wow, shame. A high five. Actually, I owe you a cold drink for that. That's very thoughtful. <laughs> you already have one. <laughs>
fine. I'm going to give you two drinks in that case. <laughs> All right, Abdul. Why is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone your favorite book? My, it's my favorite book because the plot and basically the aura it emanates while you are reading it. It makes you never want to put it down ever. Mm, I can relate. There are lots of books that I, I, I confess. I want to make a confession here. Please don't tell my parents. There are some times when I said I was going to be reading my school books. And I actually sat down with my novels, staying awake all night till like 1 a.m. reading my book. Mom and Dad, if you're seeing this, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I deceived you that I was reading school books instead. But yes, thank you so much, Adania. Thank you so much, Shay Mulleri. Thank you so much, Abdul, for sharing your favorite books with us. Could you give them a round of applause? Woo! -hoo!